Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add or remove a Microsoft account to log into your Windows 10 operating system. So suppose you have installed your Windows operating system and at the time of uh, installation, you have given the local password. So let's see how we can add the Microsoft account to, to log in to your Windows operating system and we are going also going to see how we can remove it. So to add a Microsoft account into your Windows operating system, what you need to do is just click on your Windows start icon and then select settings. And in the settings window, you need to select this option which says accounts. And as soon as you click on the accounts, you will be able to see under this profile picture which type of account you have. So most probably you will have a local account written here if you haven't uh, provided your Microsoft account details at the time of installation of your Windows 10 operating system. So as you can see in my case, I have logged in with my local account. That means I haven't used Microsoft account to log into my Windows operating system. But let's say I want to just add this uh, feature into my Windows operating system. So for this, what I can do is I can click on this option which says sign in with Microsoft account instead. And you can also read this which says Windows is better when your settings and files automatically sync. Use a Microsoft account to easily get all the stuff on all your devices. So just click on uh, this sign in with Microsoft account instead uh, option which is going to open this kind of window where you can uh, provide your Microsoft account details. So I'm going to provide my email ID which I use to log into my Microsoft account. You can also create a new account if you don't have any Microsoft account by clicking on this button. So let me give my email ID and then I'm going to click on the next uh, button. And then I'm going to provide my Microsoft account password. So let me give my Microsoft account password. And then I'm going to click on sign in button, which is going to uh, sign in to my uh, Microsoft account. Now on the next window, as you can see, uh, sign in to your computer using your Microsoft account. Next time you sign in to your computer, use your Microsoft account password or Windows hello if if you have set it up. Also, it says we will need your current Windows password one last time. So, so you need to give your Windows password, which is your Windows local account password uh, one last time. So I'm going to just provide that password and then click on next. And once I do that, uh, it's going to uh, set up my account. And then the next uh, step is to create a pin. So just click on the next button here. And here you can create a pin. So why you need the pin? Create a pin to use in place of passwords. Having a pin makes it easier to sign into your device, apps and services. So here you need to give any pin. If you want to include letters and symbol, you can also check this checkbox, which will enable you to enter letters and symbols into your pin also. So I'm going to just enable that and then I'm going to uh, give this pin and I will repeat that pin and then click on OK. And now once you do that, as you can see, this uh, will change here under your uh, account name. So uh, here now I'm logged into my Windows operating system using my uh, Microsoft account. So now here you will be able to see your name using which you have logged in to your uh, Microsoft account uh, and also you will see your email. So in this way, you can uh, just uh, enable Windows to log in with your Microsoft account. Now let's test this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, log out of my uh, Windows operating system. So I will just click on uh, this uh, name here and then I'm going to say sign out, which is going to sign me out of the Windows operating system. And then I will try to log in with my Microsoft account. So here uh, you can give the pin which you have given at the time of the setup of your Microsoft account. So I'm going to provide the same pin and then I'm going to just uh, press on enter or submit button. And you can see I am successfully uh, logged into my 
Windows operating system using my Microsoft account. Now in order to remove this Microsoft account, you just need to go to the same place. So Windows Start button, then Settings, then Accounts uh, section. So just click on Accounts. And now in order to switch from your Microsoft account login to your uh, local account login, you will see here you have this option sign in with local account instead. So I'm going to just uh, click on this sign in with the local account instead. And here you can see this warning. Are you sure you want to switch to local account? I will uh, say yes and I will just click on the next button. And then you need to give the pin for your Microsoft account uh, uh, login. So whatever pin you have set, just give that pin once again and then click on OK which is going to uh, give you this kind of window. So from here you can set up your local account once again. So this is the username. You can give the password here and then confirm the password here. And if you want to uh, give some hint, you can provide some hint here. Okay, so I will just write hint here and then click on next. And then on the next window, it's going to ask you one last time, switch to local account. So I will just click on sign out and finish, which is going to sign me out of my Microsoft account. And you can see it's going to sign out of my Windows operating system once. And then when I try to log in, it's going to log in with my local account, which I have set up, not with my Microsoft account. So I'm going to just uh, give my uh, password once again, and then press enter. And as you can see, I'm logged into my Windows operating system with my local account. So this is how you can add or remove Microsoft account in order to log in to your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.